Are you touched in the head? Me? Hatham. I come in peace. Why are you speaking so slow? <sighs> Sorry. What do you want? Well, your name, for one. I'm Gudzi Zio. Well, pleased to meet you. God, God's day. Just call me Zio. Dio. Zio. Dio. Now tell me why it is you're here. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I've only seen such markings in one other place. Where? I'm back. Well, it is forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Look, I am not the enemy. Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there, and we'll see if you speak the truth. She just took my key. She whooped ya. That town hosts soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. Edward Braddock. You know him? He's no friend of mine. Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. What do you propose? That we kill Edward Braddock. But first, we have to find him. I don't trust you. I know. Yet you remain. That I might prove you wrong. It will not happen. So you say. So I know. <laughs> Yet, I remain. Sorry, Puppet Master needed a needed a drink just then. <laughs> Let's go find the general. Should have killed him when I had the chance. Wait here. A Mohawkman is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. I hope so. What's the need for? What's the go on a good hour? I hear tell the French are ready to move on our positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before week's end. of the waves, the sting of the salt in the eyes, and the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldogs putting together another expedition. That's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. I wish that statement was inaccurate in real life, but it actually is fairly, uh... Fairly accurate. I agree. Oi! Where are you going, Cully? Me? No, the other cock robin. 
Well, I, uh, I was leaving. Oh? And now? Well, now, I'm going to feed you your teeth. And you were worried I was going to be the problem? <laughs> Come on, boys! Nice. You're hurt. Oh, that's nothing. Here. I should stop the bleeding. That wasn't necessary. Totally gonna get with her. Oh, thank you. We should move on. <laughs> Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready. You know the other thing I really noticed and I kind of like about this one is that there's no shifting back and forth between the like modern day to the Oh, there probably will be yet. Or I like passed. There is some uh I think I just stole a horse. It basically realized that they ruined the game before yep. by doing that too soon, so like there is there is going to be there is going to be some of that but yeah whoa that horse doesn't want to go down there okay fine <laughs> horse glitching intro that's not the first glitch we've seen Okay, that is not what I was... Damn it! The horse just threw you off and said bye. No, I jumped off the horse. I'm like, damn it! That's not what I meant to do. Fine, I'll use the road. What do you think you're at? <laughs> What's up, boys?
passing on the ah fuck it, I'm gonna run right through you. I tried to. <laughs> Ride like the wind, bullseye. Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Having second thoughts? Hardly. But I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. Yep. I'll keep watch from here. Wow, oh, thanks for the help. M much appreciated. I can hide in that cart. What cart? That one right there. Warning, entering restricted area. Two barrels of salt, 12 pounds of pork, 10 pounds of beef, 7 dozen eggs, 16 wheels of cheese, none of it French, don't worry. Five bottles of whiskey, a couple of dozen new uniforms, boots, and leather for patching, blankets, a cart feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. And assassins ready to kill thee. Eat, <laughs> yup. <laughs> Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. I could sabotage them. General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they'd now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words, as much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. Down? 
Not worth it. What the hell? Come on then! <laughs> yeah. I was gonna make sure I got Doesn't those cannons like first. Trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said it's... Really? Damn it. That's what I get for trying to get back Those into it quickly. Those like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Keep walking. There will be no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't you see this is unwise? It doesn't well. Makes them careless. It puts them in a risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Damn it! Apparently, I suck at this. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Okay. There will be no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still can't you see this unwise? I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on the Come on, go the other goddamn way! So close at the first time. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. 